Hi, you guys. This is Carice from Schofield Farm. I am Carice, and I want to share with you something that we got to do recently that has nothing to do with our little family farm in Northern California. In fact, it's not even in California. It's in Guatemala. My husband grew up in Guatemala and his parents still live there. And we got the amazing opportunity to take our entire family, all seven kids down to see their grandparents in Guatemala. And I'd love to share with you just some tidbits of the trip. I actually have a lot of videos and little snippets of beautiful plants. A lot of things that we actually grow indoors, house plants grow outdoors there. Just absolutely beautiful, stunning country. If you've never visited, I think you would love it. Let's get started. Bringing my kids to where my husband grew up is an amazing opportunity. We are in Guatemala and we are at my in-laws like neighborhood condo place. They have a beautiful garden. I've got to show you this. It's rainy season so everything is so lush and green and a little bit wet. <laughs> you like it? Super pretty. Super tropical. And in there, they are raising monarchs to release. So that's pretty fun. This is just like, almost like a rainforest feeling. It is so beautiful. Nina. This is just their neighborhood park. We are not in California anymore. Not with things this green. In a coat and a hoodie in June, in a tropical paradise, not in California. And here is a monarch right here. super happy. There's some different basil right there. Super pretty. Oh, snapdragons. Some snapdragons over here too. Some nice colors. So pretty. Everything is so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, they are, yeah. Here are the herbs. Oh, that says oregano. It must be what's below because those are definitely peppers. <laughs> yeah, that's not the oregano. Um, this also says fresa, that's not strawberries. 
No, I think they're just labeled wrong. Lots mm -hmm. of these are peppers. Yeah, the fritas are over there. The strawberries are right over there. Tomatillo. I don't spray up the tomatillos. Um, I think. No, I think maybe they move the tomatillos. Lots there. of peppers. That's what I see. There's lettuce. Zanahoria. There are carrots. Carrot. So wait, well, I celery need... is up there. Yep. Yeah. Oh Apio. Yeah. Uh, there's the stash, some Strawberry. strawberries, and some lettuce, Pedicure. and a lemon tree. I forget what it's called. But we have a ton of it. We just took out a bush. Parsley. Parsley. And it's not broccoli. But they have eucalyptus. So much smaller than our eucalyptus. That's the bottle, bottle brush bush. Should they have one? I don't think. Yeah, they look like little bottle brushes. Like you clean. Kitchen. Hummingbirds love them. Recently had a storm and their sunflowers are telling the tale right now. They look very sad. We got blown over. It's Laurel Bay. Bay leaves. Oh, yeah. Rosemary. Oh, that's... This looks like looks a... more like oregano. A different kind, though. Yeah. Not like ours. Ours are this, very small leaves. Yeah. They have... This is what it was. Lavender. This is a... Uh, this is giant oregano and it smells really good. Smells great, huh? Yeah, amazing. My fascination with butterflies, especially monarchs, just, it is a thing. And it was amazing to see them raising monarchs and releasing them onto the milkweed, into their gardens. I just can't even describe how special this was for me. Oh, oh happiness. It's not so colorful. Just birds of paradise, just randomly. In normal landscaping, is just so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, these are beautiful. Pretty. Oh, it's petunia. Oh. It doesn't look like a petunia to me. It's a beautiful bush. It's almost like a bottle brush, but not quite. more birds of paradise and then just like the the like normal vegetation just look out over the beauty that's like a big beautiful succulent that's what it looks like it's gorgeous I don't even know which one it is but it's so pretty Banana trees just here and there and everywhere. Banana trees. This is the cutest little hobbit hole with pretty gardens. So beautiful. And you can actually go inside. Oh my goodness. I love it. Spending time with grandma and grandpa is a treat. Smells good. The pepper plant at this restaurant is like a tree. The base 
is right here. That is so impressive. Fuchsia. I got all sorts of inspiration for what I want to grow at home from the different plants I saw here. <laughs> it is gorgeous. We're like up in the clouds. came to a lookout to see the city of Antigua. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Lots of eucalyptus trees. It smells so wonderfully fresh. This lookout is beautiful. Yikes, so pretty. We are in Antigua. I love the colors of all of the buildings and there are motorcycles forever and ever and ever. I seriously love it here. The architecture, all the colors, that is like my very favorite. Elephant towels are so cute. Oh my goodness, what a cute room. Part of the Gu Guatemalan, part of the Guatemalan adventure. Up here, there's a beautiful like arboreum, is that how you say it, Borium? indoor greenhouse. Everything is so pretty and jungly. Bougainvillea and these ruins is my favorite color. I have not found this color yet, but this is totally, yeah, but we, we own them, but I don't have this color. Oh yeah, this is absolutely stunning. Even the ruins have flowers. That is like my favorite. I could look at flowers all day long. We are going through some ruins, cathedrals in Antigua, and it is just so pretty. It's hard to even do justice how beautiful it is here. I am just amazed at the how enormous the structures are, how beautiful they are. I believe this was destroyed by an earthquake, but it is absolutely gorgeous. The details to architecture are amazing. It's absolutely stunning. Even in the market, there are pretty plants hanging. My little plant of this in my room is so tiny, but look at that. So beautiful. There's flowers and plants everywhere you go here. Everywhere you go. We are at Ishimshe. There are ruins by Tetlan. And we're going to see some Mayan ruins, which is really cool. These are some of the walls. This is bigger than. Ooh, over here, pretty. So all the indigenous in Guatemala were Mayan. So these are some of the Mayan ruins. Tikal was a little too far away for us, so we came here. It's smaller, but it still has the history. Oh wow, look over there. Being indigenous myself to the area I live in, I was fascinated to come see what the indigenous people 
lived like here in Guatemala, it was impactful. This is so amazing. This may be one of my favorite things we've done here. This is so cool. We're just only in the corner of this Mayan city. Yeah, we gotta go down. Wow. Feels like... This is seriously so amazing. It's definitely way out of the way of where we were, but it is so worth it to come see something here I've never seen before. This was a very large city. We are barely scratching the surface over here. And look at that tree that is like, it needs to be painted or something. So majestic. This is so stunning. I can't get over it. One thing that really stood out to me when we were looking at these Mayan ruins is we have this much history in our own country, but a lot of it is under parking lots, is paved under strip malls, and shopping centers, and to have this much preserved is incredible. The next three days, we stayed at a lake house in Lake Atitlan, and the views were incredible. A panorama view of the lake and the mountains and gardens. I honestly, this was a gardener's dream come true, to spend time just looking at nature, and they even had plants growing inside downstairs with all this natural light. I just couldn't even imagine if this was a house near where I lived, what kind of things we could actually grow inside. It was incredible. This is where I'm going to sit and drink my coffee. This is a very, very lower level deck right above the water. They have a dock down here. We're gonna take a boat out, which we're not going to, but it's pretty cool. And we walk down a ton of stairs. There's like 135 stairs or something. That's not even the house. That's like, I think that's a like caretaker's house. It's like way up there somewhere. It's pretty neat. Oh, and they even have like a little bed. I think if people in the summer, not summer, in their warm season, not wet season, wanted to sleep out here, a little bed. It's pretty neat. I think being here in rainy season, I really appreciate it because we had just come from a week of 113 at home. We were also headed back to record-breaking temperatures of 119. I appreciated the nice, cool, misty kind of weather. Everything with little raindrops. It was such a refreshing season for this California summer girl that's up in the super hot zone. These are actually coffee beans. I've been told this is not a good representation because the plant was actually cut down, but that is pretty cool. Oh, oh there's a big one. Nice. Again, uncultivated, but look up there. There's one with a lot more up here. <laughs> yeah, see a lot more coffee beans on that one. That's so cool and tropical and lovely in Guatemala. a little soccer field. There's corn hoe over there. We haven't played it yet because it's been mostly drizzly. Boys might have played soccer. Did they play it all? I don't know if they did, but. They did. But it's a cute little field right behind the house. Oh, there's Bill. And then there's a little playground over there. And then there's a trampoline somewhere. Oh, where it went? Where's the trampoline? Oh, it's back there. Oh yeah, it's up there. I want to take you on a walking tour of the gardens at this property because I was so impressed by the things that grow and can be cultivated in an outdoor garden in Guatemala that is so very different than an outdoor garden in California. It just made me reflect on different gardening climates really can impact what can grow. 
and there is beautiful flora and fauna in every climate. I love the addition of those walking path stones because it really gave a focus of going through the garden and that's something I would love to add to my own place at some point. Light to see how everything is so lush and green. Clearly the gardener took a lot of care and things are laid out very purposefully, but I just could not get over the depth of green, the varieties of green, how big plants are. off the season that our family's been in. It was refreshing. It was quiet and yet with the sounds of wildlife so that I felt like I could truly hear and truly think. What a beautiful oasis. What a beautiful country. What a beautiful garden.
didn't work. I even taped that. Dad is the geometry guy. There's also a ping pong game going on back there behind you. Oh, massive fail. Barca, look. Barca. The local ladies is wearing a Barca shirt. That's how cool they are. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because it's legal. Yeah. There's room for me. Yeah. 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 We walked up so many stairs, so many stairs, I mean, laws. And the lookout we were rewarded with is stunning. How pretty is that? Wow. These condos are really cool. They have a French drain system that goes, weaves all the way down the hill because you don't want water to run into people's driveways and it just weaves back and forth where we can't see it all the way down probably to the community garden maybe even past that which is such a good idea want to head back let's go see they have so much milkweed planted for butterflies Monarchs and other kinds. Oh yeah, we need to get a picture of that one. Yeah, very pretty. But there's tons of monarchs here too. They're dancing around so fast I can't even get them. But they are so beautiful and fun and it makes me just excited. Oh, other kind of butterflies. I think I see back there a swallowtail. So many butterflies, see those? They just dance around, all happy. Over here, I think it's a lemon tree that I see. Yeah, look here, there's already some lemons on it. I think these are lemons, they don't look small enough to be limes. To me, there's quite a few. Y'all know how much I love citrus if you've been around my channel very much. Cutter just noticed this is a peach tree because she identified the leaf curl. This is what happens when you raise your kids gardening and on a homestead is they know how to recognize things. And sure enough, there is a peach. More than one, but I love that you knew what that was immediately. You're a smart girl. Look at those flowers. Oh, they're cute, huh? They're pretty ground cover. They look like, what is it? Kind of like a clover. Oh yeah. No, Like, like in between clovers and wild dandelions. Of? Yeah. Yeah. Going down is always easier than going up. Walking paths like this right out of my in-laws front door is pretty fantastic. What a beautiful country and there a banana tree. You can see the French drain came all the way down by the community garden. Goes down here. Or by the gardens. And it goes across. Wonderful water system. 
Oh my goodness. She's on Pride Rock. She's huge. Tigers are scary. And those are real. And he's patient. When in the city, I have to get the best view possible, right? This is ridiculous. Okay, we gotta get this darker because the lights are making it too bright. Crazy. all over this place. This is a historic Catholic church over here. Very pretty. Thank you so much for joining me on our trip. You know, as you can see right here, we do not live in a balmy 65, 70 degree place like Guatemala was when we were down there. We got welcomed home to record breaking 119 degree Fahrenheit heat. So my poor hydrangeas, they basically were dehydrated. They didn't love that, but they're, they did beautiful before. There's always next year. But that was the reality of where we live compared to where we visited. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever visited Guatemala. I just, I think it's a beautiful country and someplace worth everyone seeing. Thanks and I will see you soon.